Okay. Uh, should be good. Hopefully the audio is okay too. All right. So then the good question is, where the heck do I gotta go? Now let me just make sure it's saved properly though. Yep, we're at 91. Let me put it up a little bit more. Oh, wait a minute. That's all right. There we go. Uh, so wait, let me see. What was the objective again? Oh, it's a Vex. East of the building nearby. Okay. Just double checking all that. I also sorry for starting so early, or rather, it's not early, late Vex. I know you won't be able to make it to watch all of it. Oh boy, I gotta love that though. I, I seriously set my alarm. And then it was set to AM and not PM. Good lord. Hey, when that happens. The East Building, of course. Yeah, we made that joke already. Doesn't mean you can't, though. Oh, uh, wait, we're not talking about this one, though, right? Northeast? Okay. Uh, how's the audio, by the way? Oh, okay. Damn, already. Oh god, but being max level makes this a joke, though. Oh, this is not earned at all. This is so not earned. Granted, I guess I have to grind for it, but... Oh, that's weird, I pressed up. Shit, I think I reached it then. Is that that's not the cap yet, right? Just when it's like 10? Yep, of course it is. We're close enough to 10. Crazy how different this version looks. Engines all looking different too. Yeah, good lord. <laughs> like, I understood the gimmick uh, right away. Or not right away, but you know, I had to realize that a fireball wasn't doing anything to him. But man, that didn't feel right. But that's just how it is being overleveled. The reason we overleveled was uh, just for the sake of time. If we wanted to finish this today, basically, but... Eh, it'd be like that.
Bruh. Yo, this sound font fucking slaps. I love that percussion. First bell has rung. Sacrificial ritual has begun. That was on the fifth one. That voice sounds familiar. Kermit face, god. I think I know which one it is. Oh damn. Yo, look at this shit. 1989 looks really cool. Yo, this music though, bruh. Second bell has rung. Oh, shit. Still tell how it is it is. Oh yeah, I love it. Oh my god, I can't get over this music, man. Oh, do we go in the middle? I guess I'll save just in case. going. Okay. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. Stop this. Bro, what's going on with your freaking mouth? Such a brave warrior you are, Edol. I am truly impressed that you've made it to this lofty point. I commend your efforts. However, you'll be distressed to hear that I've already rung the death bell four times. If I ring it once more, the girl Marie Man, I remember when Jim Cummings was like the evil villain Let voice for me growing up as a kid. This ancient ritual. The ancestral priests of this land lived over 700 years ago, but their descendants still reside. The voice of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> the five bells are the seven. Ah, uh, the contrast. Born. Before I shatter their souls and drain the last of their life's blood. The only know is poo. Love this. Bruh. Now please enjoy the sweet sound of the bell's last ring. <laughs> well, shit. I guess we gotta go back then.
lord. Oh, also, uh, man, frickin' rip on East Origin tonight. I thought it might happen. Uh, but long story short, I guess Arcadius, uh, usually he can't do anime, uh, because he's busy with D&D on Sundays, but I guess I got cancelled, so... I guess we're doing that tonight. So, GG. Yo, once again, anime gets in the way of things that I truly want. I'm kidding. <laughs> but it's kinda true. I was kinda looking forward to, uh, playing both games tonight. What was the thing that we got too, actually? I looked away for a sec. Ah, okay, okay, so that's what we need to get rid of the stone status, right? Or was it something else? Actually, let me see for a sec. Its eyes is closed. Looks as if it is sleeping. That didn't tell me too much. Well, shit. To the shrine? Okay. Rest in peace, Maria. Didn't deserve it. Okay, there was never anything up here. Okay, sorry. Uh, I just got a uh, text message. I was just reading what that was. Oh, uh, let me save here, actually. Turn to Dreaming Stone Idol. But wait, one of its eyes is missing? You must obtain the blue orb and insert it in the idol's eye. This will awaken the idol from its dream, and the curse of these people will be lifted. If you're able to find the blue orb, return here, and I will help you. Hmm. So where do we gotta go now? Astro to the village and speak to Tar? Okay. Tarf again. Blue orb? Uh oh, I had it right here in my pocket. But now it's gone. I guess I have a hole in my pocket. Uh, yeah. I know I had it when I arrived in the village. I might have dropped it when I was ta oh, talking with Dekka. Who's, uh, who is that again? God of Cirrus? Okay. He lost a blue orb. I remember watching a strange man in a black cape bend over in a, and pick something up off the ground. Then the man went into the shrine. He must have been a demon because the guards let him in without any question. 
There's one thing that has been bothering me. I feel that the air is warming. Warming? Huh, weird. Could it be that we are getting closer to the ground? No, that would be impossible. Hmm... Uh, Southern Wake Cutie, so where to now? Snow Town in this version. Listen to for that password a long time ago. Okay. Lizard brought something in that prolonged the meeting. What are you hanging around for? Oh yeah, wait. Forgot. There's nothing over there for me. Might as well keep my MP, though. Adaru. Super adorable in this version. I'd be like, where's the plush? Pass the Eastgate? Okay. Wait, did I pass it or was it crazy? I think we passed it. Yeah, this is looking familiar. Wasn't it like uh, up here? Downstairs? Oh, shoot. Okay. Souls and spending all day being a guide for people. Lord. Hmm, seems pretty sus. Fast travel to the shrine? Okay. Oh, to be fair, Vex, uh, the guide for the old game is super weird at this point, because it's completely sideways. Takes some getting used to. Using that too, I just rotated it. Yeah, the thing is, I'm looking at it through, like, mobile phone, so it's, like, it's a little finicky. I gotta, like, zoom into certain parts, because it can't all fit in. Give it the same guy, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, it's a little rough for me to look at. Final battle is near. I've told the descendants of the six priests to come... To the core of the shrine. They are now on their way. We will need all your bravery and might. Please come to the core as soon as you are able. I need to my laptop to my TV. Having the game on it and the map on the laptop. Yeah. I do that too, but I need, um, well, you know, for streaming purposes, I need to have OBS in the chat on my other monitor, on my laptop, so I know what's going on. It's hard for me to use a guide that way, because I don't be able to, you know, 
won't have nearly enough information. Tower nearby. Okay. Although, when you say tower, are we talking about the place where we were just uh, going up? Like near the bell or something else? Okay. Maria's body is gone. Keep going. I know, I know, I'm just saving. Lord. Could you so be like, if I don't see constant movement, I swear to God, I will stop GPSing. I refer to it as a refrain, which I very much approve of that word use. Lord. Oh man, I love that part. I don't know, like that sim just sounds so weird, and yeah, I remember hearing it in other games. And then that shit sounds like Castlevania. Oh my god. Is there something I'm missing? Use the idol. Oh, okay. Size so begin to glow. Bruh. But what does that mean? Okay. Now we should be able to get the pendant and should be good to go. We're locked in the Mufri. A dove flew in. Had a pendant and a letter tied around its leg. Letter was from a guy named Dr. Flair and was addressed to you at all. Seems that he found the mysterious pendant in the divine area. He said in his letter that he wanted to give this to you. Oh, there we go. If you travel further down the water canal, you'll reach the core of East. This is where the source of evil emanates. On the mountains of the underworld outside. Wonder if East may be coming down from the skies. That's crazy. A demon named Keith told me that there are others who have been turned into stone. Those people might have regained their senses by now. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure which one uh, was where I want to talk to. By the time I woke, Leo was already gone. Where in the world could she be?
a village when you can. Okay. Did this bit yesterday. You can silver and gold pass. Probably what third was referencing at that one bit. Hmm. Maybe. Man. You hate to see it. Northeast into the canal. Okay. Oh wait, no, not that one. Getting. Gotta go slightly more up than that. Good lord. It feels weird finally getting done with this game. It still took about like seven sessions all together. But for two games, that's not too bad. They're all roughly about like two hours each. Getting confused in this area? Yeah. It's a little rough. Heading southwest. Okay. Stone statue on your map. Okay. Uh, give me a second to get to it. And so jamming almost makes the sewer seem inviting. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, give me a second to get on the map. This is, um... This is Canal East. Okay. Uh, give me a sec, I'm just looking for it. Okay, yeah. Is it you who removed that wretched curse from me? I'm Seda from Ramya Village. Maybe it's, uh, Sada? But Seda seems right. Uh, I came to this shrine to rescue my girlfriend, Maria, from the goons. But instead I was cast as stone by the evil wizard, Dallas. <laughs> what if it's Dales? Oh my. So, you couldn't save Maria. I guess there was nothing you could do. I'm sure you tried your best, Adol. Since Maria's gone, I guess I won't be needing this sword anymore. Let me give it to you to show my appreciation of your efforts. We found some amazing armor in this shrine. I've been keeping it at my father's house. You'll probably need this armor in your fight against the goons. 
Noise. Old man's house. Okay. That is our family sword. How did you get it? Do you see my son Seda? Oh, what a relief. You saved him. Thank you so much. Please take this armor with you in return for your bravery. Hey, what's up, Shion? I know. I'll be like, nah, I'm just gonna not equip it. Aight, but where's the shield, though? Come middle and take the red satchel. No, not that one. Shield version's 59, good lord. I don't even. Damn that damage. I forget where the statue is exactly. Was it here? Okay, yeah. Um, wait, which one was it? Okay, the right one. Oh shit. Okay. No, nope. let's find out. So, you would like a chance to die. Then I, the great wizard, will give you that opportunity. I'm a most generous man. Your magic is worthless against my superior power. Okay, that might be a hint. Oh, man. Let me just at least try and do it a little bit legit. Man, that was almost clean. The rip. It'd be like that. 
Hit level cap. Noise. I don't even know what those last two levels do. Go inside. Shut up, you don't tell me what to do. It's like... Listen, I gotta make sure it's not a point of no return or something. I don't know what's in there, man. I don't know where it's been. A word? Let's see what that does. Actually, wait, what was it that I picked up again? Okay. Saying that I could have moved. You must be Ada. I am Maria. He oh, so she is alive. He said that there were fragments of the shattered bracelet in my body. Maybe the bracelet was a substitute. For I'm sure the demons have missed the shattered me. I heard the stories that the goddess has cast a stone by the human people curse. We don't have a second to spare. Man, the sound balancing on this section is uh, a little tough. Yeah, I was gonna say, they're doing their best, but the rest of the game, even for book one for that matter, didn't have that issue. That's what's gonna help me, or something else? Wait, you said it hit the wall? The middle wall. Oh, okay. Unless you meant something else? That middle wall? Go left to right? Okay. Go down? Oh, okay. Listen, man. Audio delay is a bitch. Or rather, foot delay. What the fuck? Okay, yeah. I was supposed to know where to go with that shit. Travel down this passage, you'll eventually reach a goddess. Goddesses? Uh, on the way, you will find Deca. He will assist you. Flash of black, it says. Do 
to spin through here. This isn't something. Oh, okay. I think you're just like literally go through with it. Man, this shit reminds me of a uh, fucking Doom, though, where it was like. There was a texture that was alternating between, like, flashing red and blue. Is he not gonna come by and say howdy? Okay. Touch the statue. But there's a statue in there? Oh wait, I got another attack. Give me a second. Long satches. Oh shit, you're right. Sorry, for a second I thought it was like a torch or something. Damn, that fucked me up. Uh, hold on. Okay, sorry. Just have to read the text like I got. Your voice echoes from inside the room. The goddesses are in a hopeless situation. There is no way that you can defeat me now. A fight without the power of the goddesses doesn't scare me. Seven hundred years ago, I almost had the whole country of East under my control. But those forsaken goddesses managed to lock me up. I have uh, sorry. Next time I click on OBS. Sorry. Suffered ten thousand years of humiliation, and I will remember every minute of it when I revenge my anguish. Now, my time has finally come. The world of East will soon be mine, and I will show them all just how wicked we demons can be. God damn, I love that voice. You animal. You know well that I cannot let you do that. Ys is now back where it belongs. Don't you forget about me. I am the bandit, Goban. Bruh. Looks like I got here right in the nick of time. Please play the silver harmonica. Oh my god, this music though. Bruh. And throws a harmonica to Adol. It's me, Ludagemma. I've brought you the Shield of Claria, 
You must have this to fight off Darn. Use it wisely. Thanks, man. Even though it's East and not Legend of the Heroes, it could still be the first Kiseki save. Lord. It's not the whereabouts of light, but it'll do. It'll do just fine. Oh, Adol, how I have longed to see you. Remember me? I am Fina. When we last met, I didn't reveal my true identity. But now I must tell you that I am one of the two goddesses of East. You have been superb in your conquest to suppress the demons, but they will revive themselves unless you put an end to their source of evil. Their power comes from the enormous black pearl in the rear room. If you can shatter the pearl, then they will lose their evil flame, and we will have a chance to defeat them forever. Mm. So please, use all your courage to destroy their evil energy. than you can ever imagine. I am Lair, the goddess of East. Through your courageous battle, you have defeated Dark well, Fact shit. in Darn Tower. Dark Fact was the direct descendant of Priest Fact. He tried to use the magical power of Claria to release the demons, which have been sealed up for hundreds of years. He wanted to control the entire land, but greed has its limitations, and you caused the demise of that demon. When we sealed the demons in, we also buried the magical mineral Claria deep within Blair the Lair is... Seven ran the other translation? Past, okay. And Claria has since been excavated as silver. You know the rest of the story. But yep. now you must fight your final battle against Dawn, the most sinister of all evils. I know that you are a most worthy warrior, and I want you to use my ring for this dangerous showdown. The ring can weaken the power of evil, and my blessing can give your sword the force of East. Courage to the end, dear Adol. Nice. Wait for my instruction. Okay. Then what happened? Do I gotta wait? All right, fine then. I'll quit and restart.
can't even tell which one it was. I think it was the top one. Nope. Alright, so what's the deal? Exactly, is a shield magic. Okay. Already joining my MP, but all right, fuck it. Doubt, but okay. Oh, Christ, it's going to be one of these fights. Okay, top part's probably the worst choice I could pick right now. Oh my god, is he really gonna stay up there? Oh, come on. Alright. Way to spawn kill yourself. DG. My ears. Yeah, let me just not. God, what if you could just leave? Could you imagine? Congratulations, just like the ending of... <laughs> Ah, oh, Christ. All of them are clapping. Each one needs a voice line saying congratulations. Went to the six priests. They are all waiting for you. Did it? You ever come the impossible? My well, name is Tarf Hadal. I'm a descendant of the ancient priest Hadal. Or I guess it's uh, Hadal, maybe. 
Your fighting skills are dazzling. We are joyed to see you slash her into oblivion after he had ripped our lives apart. I must admit, however, I was still a bit worried about the powers of the Black Pearl. When I heard the shattering sound of crystal, and I knew our lives were safe. Now we can enjoy our peace and freedom without the looming presence of doom. I know I should be smiling, but I can't hold back my tears of joy. Tara, please don't cry, you'll, you'll make me cry too. Full name is Maria Mesa. Wizard Dallas wanted me as his sacrificial lamb. He thought my cries of anguish would bring the other descendants out of hiding. The reason why I didn't die was because of the protection of the priest's bracelet. The demons were frantic in their attempts to exterminate us. They believed that they had awakened the goddesses. They knew that they had to kill us, or they themselves would face annihilation. So they began sacrificing the villagers in a process of genocidal elimination. Jesus Christ. I guess that's one way to do a sorting system. The peace has now returned to our world at the cost of many villagers' lives. So we will build a memorial on top of the belfry to commemorate their courage. Ado, by gosh, you did it! I knew you could, from the first time I met you, in Ramya Village. We all felt you were the chosen one who would lead our land to freedom. By the way, I'd like you to come by our village soon. Everyone wants to see you. Evan is getting better, he wants to congratulate you on your success. It's me, Keith. You probably didn't recognize me without my pale green tint. Since you eliminated the source of evil, my green goon curse was lifted. Now I can live as a human again. What a horrific experience I've had. I really thought I would die in Burnland Prison. My life passed in front of my eyes, and then I focused on a single moment. I remembered watching a beautiful sunset with my dear sister. She remarked on how she believed that not all the goons were bad. Moments later, we were ambushed by a pack of demons. The next thing I knew, she lay dead at my feet. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rain on this celebration. This is a time for joy and happiness. Let me express my appreciation once again. Thank you very much. Hey, doll, you've done a great job. I can remember watching Darm Tower from the ground. But suddenly, I saw a bolt of light burst from the top of the tower into the skies. I never imagined that the bolt was actually you. You're a leader of men and the model of courage, Adol. We need a soul like yours to inspire our devastated land and to restore our prosperity. We need your help. Please stay with us in the Asteria. Adol, you were wonderful. Let me tell you about a strange dream I had before coming here. In the dream, a mystic voice of harmony told me to go to Solomon's Shrine. She told me that the Great Land of East was coming down from the skies. When I awoke, I looked up to find East right in front of me. I rushed into the shrine because I knew you must be in great danger. It was then that I gave you the Silver Harmonica. Adol, you've changed our lives. It was the magic power of East that kept the land floating in the sky out of harm's reach. And it was from the same power that the evil was created. Opposites born from the same source, magic is mysterious indeed. We created the magic to make a better life, but we allowed ourselves to be manipulated. 
How ironic that we could be controlled and terrorized by our own innovations. Yeah, I'm sensing a trend going from trails to this. We sometimes allow our materialistic greed to overcome our simple needs. The only real need we have is love. Aw, oh, that's a little savvy, but I get it. I get it. Anyway, the peace is back. We should all be grateful. Oh, by the way, Kong was looking forward to seeing you. I guess it's Colin, if it's only one L. Oh, Adol, how glad I am to see you. I was awfully worried when you started out on your final battle. And now you're back alive. I... I... Put it out, Lilia. I know you've got a crush on Adol. <laughs> but not as much as a heel ring. Come on, go for it. Oh, please, Goban, don't embarrass me. Our land was ripped apart over 700 years ago. We haven't seen our relatives since. That you have provided us with this remarkable reunion. This is a most marvelous day. Now that the magic power has been removed, our presence here is no longer needed. It's time that the people start believing in themselves. Before we subside, we will make sure that only we, the goddesses, control the magic. And the people will have peace and happiness forever. Throughout the coming ages, we'll never forget about you. Adol. Bean and Adol are gazing into each other's eyes. Well, I guess we should let them be alone. Okay, I was about to say, who's talking here? That's a good idea, Maria. Well, Adol, we'll be off now. Good luck! an eerie place. After that, I went to Jeva's house. I met a lot of people that I never knew before, and I learned a lot about the wonderful world of East. But the best thing that has happened to me is that I had a chance to meet you. For the first time in my life, I was able to speak with the heart of a girl. It is hard to feel human when your soul is of a goddess. The 80s cheese is real. Well, I must go. Lair is waiting for me. Adol, promise that you'll always remember the girl in me. Damn. Can you believe Adol's got the hookup with a goddess? He could be a demigod for all we know. There it be. I encourage you to look up remake version of Darn Fight at some point. It's super cool. Yeet. Man, I love that sim. <laughs> Look at this man. Oh my god, it's so 80s. How can you not love that? Look at that. Floof ate all. It is pretty good.
<laughs> Good lord. Frickin' doggy. Oh, snap, so they actually hit her off. Noise. Ate all Kristen says, fuck magic. Man. It's the map. No, I know. God damn. And then there's the tower all the way on the right. Christ. Wow, it looks so small by comparison, even though it's massive. God damn. Good shit, though. Good shit. Crazy how this wasn't even in the 90s. Oh man, listen to this. Yo, this credit song sounds like those old school 80s infomercials. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him go. Lord. That kid only sour, please. Bruh. Yo, cutie soul, I'll dance with you. <laughs> I can't dance, but I sure as hell I'm gonna try. <laughs> Doggy Sprite. <laughs> that big peace sign. Man. Yo, get out of here. Oh, wait, no, he vibing. He vibing. It's all good. Freaking key. Billy soon. Yeah, it's because they're doing anime later. I did say 11 p.m. though. Make sure I got enough time to finish this, at least tonight. What's up, man? Yo, look at him go. Look at Darm go. <laughs> Good lord. Or the end, not Dharm, Dark Pact. My bad. I got confused because at the end they mentioned in Dharma, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> dark Fact, not to be confused with normal facts. It's not an opinion, that's a Dark Fact. To destroy Adol with Dark Facts and Dark Logic. <laughs> oh, Lord. Voice actor list. Dope. Oh shit, they invaded. Nah, but this shit's dope. I can't believe this came out in 1989. It holds up surprisingly well. If you, uh, you know, if you got that taste or that history of retro games. Uh, this one's great. I say this shit's a classic for sure. I can see why. I can definitely see why this is what put Falcom on the map. It's good. It's short and sweet. Like, I know there's the Chronicles 1 and 2 remakes on PC, but I'm really glad I played the old school one, honestly. It, it puts things more into perspective. Yo, look at those two logos. I love those companies. Rest in peace, Hudson Soft, man. I miss them. I really do. And there it is. I'm not sure what happens if I press start, though. Um, do I go back to title screen? I don't know if I should just, like, say my piece right now. Graduated from the Bump System, fam. <laughs> it only won technically two games. Um, I will say, though, it is cool, because I guess East 1 and 2 Chronicles don't really make it as seamless as uh, this version on Turbo CD. Um, how does that even happen? Like, does it, like, fade to... I, I wonder how that transition works from uh, Darm Tower... Uh, to East 2. 
I'm not sure how they handled it there. Also, uh, let me go back and see if I missed anything in chat when I was doing the final boss. Give me a sick. Uh, cringe you... Oh, yeah, I already... Yeah, I read that. Look up the remake. Can't believe he got this on first try. Hell yeah, first try, final boss. <laughs> Stupid sexy Adol. Good lord. Okay, everything else is good. Oh, shoot, sorry. Pause it there. Marathoning. Uh, no, it's not. I I never called it a marathon because I'm waiting for the Trails and Zero patch to happen. That's basically, um, I'm playing the E-series to hold me over, but there is no way that translation patch is going to take the entire E-series to come out. That'd be ridiculous. If it did, I'd be genuinely concerned. Um... I see. So did Fina and Rhea become stone statues at the end? So they confused by that? Yeah, they did. Unfortunately. I guess that's why she was saying, you know, to never forget the uh, the girl and her to aid all, which, man, that's a little sad. It's a little bittersweet. Gosh. It was pretty wholesome. But man. I mean, it was like a, you know, a wholesome moment before her knowing that, you know, it was basically over for her, which is kind of sad. I liked Fina best of these two. Two games. Yeah. She was pretty aight. Um, but yeah, no. Obviously, soundtrack is great. My god, soundtrack still holds up pretty pretty great. Like, when you think back on what you'd hear for, like, 80s video game soundtracks, man. Some of this shit's still a freaking bop. Like, for real. It's really good. Um, there's definitely a... <laughs> Towards the end, there was a bit of weird audio balancing um, in the East Corps, but uh, overall, the audio is, like, freaking stellar, you know? But, uh, I, I I have some stuff to say about East 2. I East 1 was short, pretty short, all things considered. I think we did it in, like, two or three sessions, you know? And it was pretty alright. There was, like, uh, you know, there's... There was some bat shit, you know, with that one boss that was pretty strict. Holy shit, that, that kicked my ass. But, uh, man. East 1 overall is, uh, it's pretty solid. Uh, Darm Tower 2, like, it took a minute to get used to the traversal, but it wasn't bad for, like, a final tower. Uh, I also like that gimmick with, like, uh, you know, silver equipment and everything. That was, that was a nice little gimmick for equipment. You don't really see that too much in games even now. Uh, I mentioned it to Cutie Soul. In DMs, I think, the night that we finished the game, where it reminded me of, like, the Magnet Cave in Final Fantasy IV. Where, you know, it's like, it's this thing that kind of forces you to use a specific type of equipment. And you gotta remember that shit, otherwise you're gonna be screwed. Uh, so that's cool. I really like that gimmick. Uh, plus, the game, I don't know about the Chronicles 1 and 2 remakes. Uh, but this game, from the word go, like, when you start going into shops and saying, like, Oh man, you wanna buy that silver shit? Somebody already bought it. Somebody took it. Uh, somebody took the silver harmonica, right? What's the deal with that, you know? Do you find the correlation and it's all silver and, you know... It's, uh, it's a nice hint to kind of make you curious about that. Why is it always silver? And sure enough, you know, it all comes together. I think East 1 is, like, it's short but focused and it knows what it wants to do. Man. Is that it coming at the end? Literally, uh, yeah, Roderick, he came in at the end. <laughs> uh, GG. Siege Monster, Iceborne... Yeah, no, I know. I gotta check out the, uh, the Siege Monster at some point. Um, but yeah, East 2, I gotta say, uh, didn't like it as much as East 1. Um, it's longer, and it's experimental, and it's what I expect, because, let's be real, there is some leniency. Um, I think there's some leniency. When you start a series, and you're making the first sequel in the series... You don't really know where it's gonna go, especially back in the day. You know, this was back in the 80s when there were hardly any standards. So, it was kind of free reign, like the wild, wild west, to just do whatever you wanted for game design. 
and you could just throw shit and see if it sticks, you know? Um, but it's hard for, like, the first sequel that you do in a series because you don't really know what the identity is. You don't know what people exactly liked about the first one. Uh, you just think you know, and you go ahead and do it. And East 2 is not bad, um, but I gotta say, I kinda wish it focused more on the bump system. Uh, the bump system itself for combat didn't get as much use uh, when the fireball and like magic got introduced. I felt like most of the time I was just using fireball magic uh, because the boss fights were, you know, they were focused on it. Which, you know, if you're going to introduce a new mechanic, that's what you got to do. But man, it sometimes felt like trying to do it the old way was just not welcomed. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little weird, man. Um... But that also kind of goes into, like, the length, right? Where certain dungeons felt pretty long. I... <laughs> my expectations immediately lowered after doing that first, uh... That first dungeon in the mind. That took a while. A lot of paths. Uh, granted, you could, like, you know, go through it with a uh, process of, elim of elimination. But that definitely set my expectations to be, okay, it's bigger, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be better, if that makes sense. Because uh, that was, like, in a way, I guess it's a good introduction to the sequel. But, uh, yeah, especially with Solomon Shrine. You know, like, Darm Tower, you look at Darm Tower, that's just vertical. There's a few doors on each side, you know, to pick. And you get the layout, you know, over time. But Solomon Shrine, oh my god, that felt like three or four dungeons combined, like, no bullshit. It's kind of nuts. It's kind of cool that they were, you know, willing to go that nuts for just a second game. But man, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a little weird. I, I can't say I fully love East 2. It's not a bad time. But if I had to pick between the two to go back to and, like, you know, if I feel nostalgic and want to check them out. Uh, East Book 1, like I said, it's short but focused. I feel like that's the better of the two if you wanted to go back and play one of the older ones, you know. It's just how it is. Uh, the thing I don't like about the shrine is having to leave and do stuff in town in between certain bits. Yeah, that's the thing. It's long and it feels like it's several dungeons to me because you have to go back and do different things out of it. Like you said, it doesn't feel as seamless uh, to just explore as uh, most final dungeons you kind of expect them to be. It's like, yes, it can be long, but they didn't keep it confined to that either, so it's a little weird. Um... And yeah, some things are still a bit cryptic, but that's just how it is. I'm trying to think what else, though. I mean, aside from that, though, it's just, East 2 is just a little more rough around the edges, I feel, but it's still not a bad game. I still enjoyed, uh, you know, parts of it, but yeah, definitely East 1 is uh, the better one. But I guess aside from that, let me see if I miss anything. Oh, I missed... Hold on. I missed something in chat. Oh, inter interesting. In terms of CD version, unlike the other version. Uh, Dark Fact mocks you about the silver equipment. Yeah. Ronder showing up like Marvel post-credits cameo. Good lord. East 2 had too much padding for my liking. Yeah, I agree with that. Bump system for East 10, let's go. Man, that'd be crazy if they ever did that. Um, the thing... Okay, I read that too. East 1 is so much repeat... Repeat... Repeatability. Okay, so I guess, like, yeah, replay value. Thanks to its length compared to East 2. Yeah. Darm Tower was my favorite dungeon in this duology by far. Yeah. It's a shame, though, as East 2 Final Boss, I like a lot more. Yeah, they're kind of going for the same thing. But yeah, the East 2, um... That final boss isn't... Isn't bad. Uh, takes a minute, though. Because I'm like, oh man. Sometimes by the time you go and, like, trek up to try to, like, hit him a few times. It's, uh, it might be done. You feel like I mean for East, East 1? Oh yeah, no, no, no. I know you meant for East 1. Um... But yeah, I was just trying to make sure because I... <laughs> I was like, wait, what's what's the big word? Because um, I'm used to saying, like, uh, replayability. But, uh, either way. Yeah, that's pretty much it for ESA 1 and 2. Overall, solid. Uh, like I said, I'm curious about Chronicles just to see how they do that transition. Because, uh, 
I don't think the the remakes like do that transition where like immediately goes into East Two like that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think I heard something about that where like the transition from going straight from Darn Tower being teleported like you know onto uh, the village that's, that's like super seamless. You know, just like one cutscene connecting them both was like kind of cool. They're separate games. Okay. Which, I mean, that's not a bad thing, but yeah, it definitely loses a bit of uh, that, like, connected feel. Which, uh, now I understand why, in several compilations, uh, I know back in the day, before uh, the Turbo CD one, it was just East 1. But now I totally get why East 1 and 2 have to be together. Uh, which is kind of cool. You can kind of, you know, you get a bit of a feel for the continuity that Falcom wants to do. <clears throat> Sorry, do. In both of these games as well. You know, it's kind of showing a lot of, like, early signs of what the company is known for nowadays, which is really interesting to just, you know, kind of look back and see uh, where the ambition is starting. Same thing with, like, the NPCs having their own, like, dialogue in between story elements in East 1 and in East 2 as well. That's, uh, it's really cool. You can tell that they have more uh, attention to detail when it comes to NPC dialogue in this series already, which is impressive. So, let me see. Book 2 even has its own launcher from Steam. Oh, interesting. CD version is where it's treated as a single game. And its own opening and stuff. Of that Falcom DNA. Yeah, pretty much. But, uh... Yeah, it's solid. Um, I It's hard to... Hmm. I guess for the hell of it, I'm not really a reviewer. But I guess if I had to rate them... East Book 1 would be like... Eh, I'd give it like an 8. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 just because it's focused. The only thing is that it's pretty short. But in a way, that's a good thing. Um, however, there are some cryptic things that, you know, you kind of got to get used to or use a guide. Like, you know, checking underneath the trees for a sword and like, you know, certain upgrades. Like, it's a little cryptic. But it's, you know, it's for uh, for what it was at the time. I think it's fine. Honestly, I've seen more games that are way worse uh, for being cryptic. It's just that, you know, for some people that might want to go back and play this, they'll probably do one in two Chronicles, but I don't know if those uh, kept, you know... I think they kept the same structure for finding secrets and stuff. I mean, if X used that same guide, I guess so, right? So, yeah, it's it's just a little cryptic, but it's fine. Uh, it's not really my problem, it's just I don't know if for some people it might be a, an issue. Uh, oh, looks like we're dropping frames a bit. Eh, it doesn't matter, though. I'm mainly just talking. And here, Street of Five. I had the connected world lore, which I had limited scope. As a trilogy. This was a more I feel. Who's your favorite VA in both games, by the way? I mean, I gotta give it to Jim Cummings. Like, I love that man. That, that guy is a freaking legend. I never get tired of that voice. Uh, I'm amazed that he's in this. Like, <laughs> it's kind of nuts. Uh, really good shit, though. God, oh, man, we got slightly dropped frames. Hold on. I think it's good now. Am I might just be having slight hiccups. Let me check that the connection's wired. Oh, man, it's dropping kind of hard. Yo, Spectrum, please. What's going on here? <laughs> I might lower the bitrate a little bit if it keeps happening. Uh, let me see what else, though. Cryptic stuff is minor compared to Zelda 1 on NES. Yeah, no, 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 that, that's fair, right? Uh, that's what I mean. Other games are way more cryptic than this. Um, but I can't deny that Eastbook 1 and 2 have a few, like, you know, cryptic parts to them. Um, if I had to put them both, uh, you know, like, together, I'd give it, like, a 7.5. Um, if we're doing .5, I usually don't like doing that, but I feel like that's kind of fair. Um, for both games together. Like, you know, they, they got a few rough spots, but it's not, it's nowhere near as bad as I think, you know, when I think back to other games that are just really hard to play, uh, you know. Like I said before, Solomon Shrine, yes, it's long. It ain't no Snow Queen quest in Persona 1. <laughs> It'll never be that bad for me. Holy shit. That's, that is still the bar for like the most tedious shit I've ever had to do in recent years. Like, I don't even know. I still haven't seen anything top that yet. Uh, ever since uh, playing that. Good lord. As separate games. Oh, like I said. Um, if it was separate games, I'd give East 1 an 8. 
Um, only two, just because for some people, they might deem it too short, and it is a little bit cryptic. Um, but I think 8 out of 10 is pretty good. Uh, for me personally, you know, I could bump it, like, just from perspective of, like, you know, how much I enjoyed it. I didn't really struggle with it nearly as much, so... If I'm feeling generous, I guess, you know, I could give it, like, a 9. You know, like, I, I can see why this was, uh, at least, uh, Eastbook 1 was super well-regarded, uh, on this version. It's really good. Super focused. Um, Persona 2 was way worse. Well, Persona 2 was worse because of the grind, but I mean in terms of, like, a dungeon length and, like, a final dungeon shit. Oh my lord, like, the Snow Queen quest is, like, the bar for me for final dungeons, uh, is what I mean to say. I know in terms of, like, actually being tedious to play, yeah, for Son of Two Eternal Punishment, oh my god, that takes a cake. But that one's for a different reason than uh, Snow Queen Quest for me. But yeah, um, I'd say East 2, I'd give, like, a 7. I can give it credit for trying, but definitely had some things where, again, like, to project down, like, Fire Magic overtook a lot of the bump system combat itself. So it felt like I played East 1 more so to understand the bump system, whereas with East 2... It's kind of discouraged in a way, I have to say, which is a little weird. Um, it's fine to introduce new mechanics, but it's kind of discouraging the main one, which is a little odd. I think they kind of pushed it a bit too far in that direction. So, who knows? Um, maybe I'm just in the minority and East 2 is actually pretty alright. But, you know, like I said, I can't get mad at it for introducing new things, because, like I said, there's leeway uh, in a sequel that doesn't really know their identity and they're trying to, you know, shape it into what it is. I totally get that they got experiment. So... It's fair. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I love the voice acting in this version. Like I said, music is uh, overall pretty solid. But yeah, it's uh, it was a fun time. I'm glad I played it. Glad I played the old school one to see uh, how it went. But uh, next time, when we get to it, probably tomorrow for sure. Uh, not tonight, because I'm watching anime with uh, Shin and uh, Alcatis and everybody. But uh, probably tomorrow, I'll start East Origin. Uh, I could try to pick like a decent time, maybe like noon. Or actually, no, I guess like 2 p.m. Eastern, I think, would work for you guys. Uh, I love enough that doesn't work for you, could you, so I could do it like a little bit later. Uh, yeah, the magic was super OP. Oh, wait, let me see. Uh, Oh, I missed uh, Vex's one. They're pretty much the same, but they made the boss fights more expanded. With the same concept, but more balanced. Yeah. Going right off to bed now. Thanks for stream. Yeah, no worries, Vex. Pretty much done. Uh, thank you for tuning in, though. But uh, have a good night, and take care. <laughs> no more bump. <laughs> Listen. I, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. One last thing I gotta say. One last thing I gotta say. Honestly, I would go through Snow Queen Quest, then Grand Turn Punishment again. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure, now that, you know, there was a kind of map that helped us out, I probably would do that too, honestly, but, you know, you know what I mean, I was trying to go for that comparison of, like, Final Dungeon, um, but yeah, it's fine, since you won't be needing me as a guide as much for each origin, yeah, that's true, which, well, thanks for helping me out, but I was gonna say, listen, um, this was nice to just understand what the bump system was, you know, where you just, like, nudge, at the enemy and don't really have to f worry about an attack button or anything. It was kind of nice, but I gotta tell you, man, that shit was really convenient last night. Uh, I didn't stream it, but I was, like, trying to grind for, like, a few levels on preparation for this uh, short stream. It was so nice to just, like, hold the direction and just use the bump system on enemies and just instantly they all just, like, die like, it, like it's nothing, you know? Like, it's, it's so nice how simple it is that it's just like, oh, this is... This is cool. I can just, like, play this and put on, like, a YouTube video or something in the background while I grind for a little bit. It's, uh, I don't know. It's almost, uh, appealing with how simple it is for gameplay. So, it definitely has its strengths and weaknesses uh, for the bum system. I can't say I hate it. You know, I know uh, Kitty Soul was kind of, like, hyping it up to be like, oh, man, you gotta get used to the bum system. Wait until you get to the bum system, you know, when you play East. And I'm like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be worse than what it was. It was actually not that, not that bad. Um, I'm kind of going to miss it, to be real. So, we'll see what happens. Didn't hype it up. I know, I know, we brought it up when I was playing Trails. I was like, yeah, okay. I'll deal with that bomb system. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you were kind of alluding to it, you know.
It's like, oh shit. And you did say you were worried about me playing this one for a minute. You did at least admit that. <laughs> but I'm messing though. I'm messing. <laughs> but yeah, no. That's uh that's pretty much it. Um so that's it for Facebook one and two. Like I said, probably at around two PM Eastern. I'll start East Origin. And uh we'll check that out. Uh East Origin, the reason I'm doing that one too, as opposed to East Three, is uh Al Kadish recommended it. He said that, you know, some of the uh some of the things that are being or rather that are leading up to uh, East Book One and Two since it's a prequel game. Uh, will be more appreciated if I play East Origin afterwards. Uh, just because, you know, I'm going back to, like, the old school one. But playing East Origin afterwards is a good idea. So, we're going that right. Then we're going three uh, afterwards. So, that's the plan. But, uh, yeah, either way, I'm going to head out. It's like going to Castlevania 3. Yeah, pretty much. That's actually a pretty good comparison when I think about it. Just... <laughs> He's got context for East Origin. Yeah. Uh, but regardless, I'm going to stop rambling, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. Take care, and I'll see you later. We did it. Boy.